I just bought the blackest paint on earth, or at least the one that I could afford. Does your church have a full-time graphic artist? No. Most churches don't even have a part-time graphic artist, and most churches don't even need one with resources like churchmotiongraphics.com. No matter what you're trying to create, whether it's an advertisement, sermon series, art, social media posts, maybe you're just trying to find a really cool background for lyrics, you just search and find the one that you like, you can customize it to your specific needs. It's that easy, download it, put it on ProPresenter, done. Again, they have thousands of motion backgrounds, sermon and announcement templates, social media graphics, and so much more. And if you enter the coupon code WLH at checkout, you'll get $15 off your yearly premium subscription. It's seriously like having a full-time graphic artist anytime you need them. Remember, that's churchmotiongraphics.com. Back to the video. Now I bought this so that way I could paint sections or parts of our stage design that we don't want to be seen. Right now, those parts of the stage design are painted with this black paint. This is just an acrylic black paint that I got from Lowe's or you can get it from Home Depot. And it's the blackest paint that they have. But yet, look at that reflection. We have a lot of stage lighting that hits these frames and other parts of the stage design that we want to disappear. And so this is where Musso Black acrylic paint comes in because it absorbs 99.4% of light. Look at this. That's incredible. I painted the inside of a box. It used to be white. That is amazing. You can see it just, it absorbs so much light. And of course, of course, I did not paint half of a piece of fruit just to show you how black this is. See? Well, I guess I did. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. It just, it's nuts. Look at that. It's still, you know, you could still see a little bit of a reflection in person, but on camera, it looks incredible. And then where we're going to use it on our stage, I think it's going to look amazing. You're, you're not going to be able to see those frames holding up those LED strips. So I want to take it to the stage and paint that frame and just see a comparison between one half of the frame being painted Musso black and we'll compare it against what's already painted. And that's just your normal latex wall paint, flat black. All right, let's go. So as you can see, there is a rectangle right in the middle of this design. And that was to support the wood that I'm using on the LED strips. Here, I'll show you more close. The problem is you can clearly see these from out front in the audience. And, and there's one down there on the bottom to support the very bottom section. Now this piece of wood here is stained, so I'm not painting that, at least not right now. And the reason why you can see this so well is because the stage lights are on. If those were off, then you wouldn't be able to see it as much, but how often do we have those off? Anyway, I'm gonna start painting it. Let's see if we can get it to disappear. already tell the difference. So all I have on is the stage lighting and I can see really clearly the right side is not painted. The left side just looks like it's not there at all. That's absolutely amazing. And I don't even think it's fully dry yet. That is so cool. In person, it looks even better. Wow. Now I just have the studio light on, check this out. This is what it looks like with the studio light. This is incredible. Yeah, when I bump the ISO up, you can still see it big time, but in person, man, it looks so good.
It looks incredible. Like pretty much what I expected. I didn't expect to see, be able to see it as well in person, but I mean, it's even extremely hard to see in person with this studio light on and the other stage lighting on. Wow. So I'm definitely gonna use this paint, Musso Black, on my next stage design. I would, I would probably recommend whatever you are painting black with like, like something like this, is go ahead and paint it with the, uh, the wall paint, the paint that you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you get paint, because that'll give it a good base. And then you put this on top and you don't have to use as much of this if the wood tries to soak some of it in. We have these lights that we wanna suspend from conduit basically something like that and i want the conduit i want any infrastructure that is holding the design itself to just disappear and go away and i think this is gonna actually do the trick so you can get this online i have it in a, a link below you can go to the i believe it's the black market Dot com or something like that. Anyway, I have it linked below. You can check that out. You can also get samples of it on Amazon. I have that link below as well. So go check that out. Anyway, I'm excited to use more of this and see what I still have a lot left by the way. So just doing that little bit didn't take a ton of paint at all. So I'm excited to see what else I can do with this. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. This paint really does work and I'm so glad I learned about it. Because, you know, as we say here, great worship leaders are always learning. I'll see you guys next time. Got another video coming soon, so subscribe. Bye. It looks like it washes out pretty well, so no worries there. Oh my gosh. They're going to hate me. Some of this other paint's not for me at all. Just saying. <laughs> Hopefully that'll come out.